What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo. Eight box case break, Pikachu's number three. Remember, all cards ship, guys. Let's get right to breaking. So, if you have a little character sign, it means you won that from a team random. Rays are the biggest team available, and Jeff won that from a team random. So, there you go. Now, we did get our first Wander color card yesterday and my last case of the night like around 12 30 a.m and jumbo number two we're looking for our first wander autograph in general no super sharpens pulled yet in our first couple cases those are one in every 75 cases so i don't know maybe we'll get lucky but uh let go Uh, yeah, probably. Especially how rare they are. Yeah, the one thing about Jumbo, like this pack right here, is just totally stuck. Like, legit. This, look, I see this card in the front. That's legit like that. So, I might take a little longer just because Jumbo's had problems with the card sticking together. But, you know... That's what we gotta do. Hobby, I haven't had a problem with it. It's just been jumbo. Some boxes are definitely better than others, though. Just slows down the pace, Kev, you know? It's not like I can be like, oh, I'll just skip this whole stack, you know? Because even though there is a pattern in every pack, still, you know, you kind of still have to go through the cards. Wow, this pack is the stuckest pack I've ever seen. Retail usually starts servicing like a week or two after a hobby. I've noticed. Some places it might take a little longer. I'm not going to spend too much time with each box like that, just so I can speed it up, so we'll do it as we do each box. So rip the first four and then we'll go to the next four. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. You could, uh, It has happened in the past, but that's a little rare. 
maybe you kind of see that more with tops, but with Panini for sure not. Usually retails way after. Yeah, Rex, but you do understand that they're risking people losses. They're risking car child's breakers from potentially just just bashing how how could you say that they're in everything and then we buy all these jumbos, we buy all these hobbies, and then you don't put them in there. There's there's no way, dude. I, I don't think Tops and Fanatics would want to do that, honestly. Does it help retail? Yeah, it does, but at the same time, you're screwing over all the people that bought Hobby and Jumbo. I think that'd be like the worst idea. There's just no way. Well, we've seen a super sharp surface. It's just a matter of time. Once we see one of the extended rookies, then it's over. That debate is over. They're out there, they're just super rare. Think about it. If you're, even if you're us or a car shop owner, and even if you're not, what if you're a dude that bought a whole case of jumbo and hobby because you're like, well, obviously I want to chase some of the autographs, but I have a better chance of, of hitting these in a hobby jumbo, hobby or a jumbo than I do retail, right? Because they make a lot more retail probably, you know, different forms. And then all of a sudden you spend all that money, and then all of a sudden you realize that, oh yeah, well we didn't actually put them in hobby or jumbo. We forgot to mention it to you guys. I mean, that's like. <laughs> It's like a huge loss you're waiting to have it probably. I don't think Tops Fanatics doesn't want to jeopardize that that just for upping their retail game.
There we go. Luis Fries is the autograph to start us off. John, uh, Anthony Rendon. And Brian De La Cruz, that one was really stuck. Actually, the autographs are still good. Out of four ninety nine, that's for Miami. That's going to Steve Grossman. Another Brian De La Cruz. Cruz rookie, Chris Bryant, number to 250, purple there, Giants going to Steve, Oliver Ortega, Randy Rosarena, McCutcheon to one ninety nine. I know, right? Autographs and beer here, I think. Watch. Yep. Glenn Otto. Rangers. Carson Kelly. And it's like I just have to unstick them because I don't want to miss anything. We got a JD Martinez. Matt Olson and then Patrick Wisdom right there. Also, I feel like we've had more than five autos. One, two, three, four, five. We have six autographs already. Six autographs in this box. And I feel like we might even get more because we still have this whole stack. Dugo, Santana. JT Romuto. Wander Franco. All right, so we did get an extra autograph here.
Kepler. Autograph for the Minnesota Twins. Clement. Negative Aaron Ashby. Harper. And a Trey Mancini to 250. Hugh Park. Nick Lodolo. That's a nice purple there, 250. That is reds, Jeff Gordon. Jesus, some of these cards are super stuck. Hans Kroos, Josh Lowe. That's one for Tampa Bay, 250. Spencer Strider. Mookie. Kettle Marte. 250 and a little Reed Detmers for the Angels to 499. Going to Matthew. Alex Wells. Alright, can we get six autographs in this one? Two, one, two, three, four, five. Dude, we got eight autographs in this. What the hell's going on here? Dude, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the first box. One, two, three, four, five, six. We had a box with six and a box with eight. So, so far, three extra autos in the first two boxes. Yeah, I know, right? Shit. This is the first time we've gotten this many extra autos, though, so far. There's a Wander. Tani. Acuna. It's like, you know what, dude? Did you notice that right now? There's always a pattern to this. It looks like they've been putting two and that, so I feel like this is going to be another one of the double boxes. Because it should only be one of those and then a refractor. Or, you know, hyper, vice versa. 
It seems like this is another double box. You all up also? Just a McKenzie. We got a Tyler McGill. Two three ninety nine. And how about a Gavin Sheets? First time I pulled one of these thirty fifth anniversary rookie autographs. That's one for the Chicago White Sox. That's number to twenty five. Chicago White Sox going to Logan. That's from a team random. It's a nice looking autograph there. Salvador Perez. And then a Zach Pop. To 299. That's three autographs already, okay? We're keeping count. It's three autographs already. Negative Tyler Glass now. And a MJ Melendez for the Royals to four ninety nine. So that's four autos already. Here's our fifth autograph, Spencer Strider. Yeah, let's see if we can get one more. If we get one more, then that would be our sixth autograph. Yep. Low, uh, Tyler Gilbert, so another box with an extra auto. McCormick. So, so far, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. In three boxes, we've gotten twenty autographs. We're supposed to only get five each on average. So, you were plus five on autographs. <laughs> or plus five. Yeah, Piz, uh, I'm going to stay to eleven only. But that'll be perfect enough time to finish the hobby off next. But hey, guys, we don't want we, we don't complain, right? I should be taking back these five autographs and giving them back to tops. You know they they messed up. Just like when they short us, we complain. We got to complain about this too. We can't give out these extra five autos. Gotta go both ways. So we'll see which which ones we're gonna keep and give back to them at the end. Riley Adams. That's right. That's right, Pizzle. I should, huh? 
You know, Pizzle, we have I've seen a super short print today. So they exist. I haven't seen an extended short print of the rookies, but I've seen a super short print. So they're out there. There's only a hundred of those super short prints too as well. Joe Musgrove. And we got a Bobby Delback. Yeah, but they're they're just as rare. They're saying that they only created like a hundred of those too. Imagine that? <laughs> only a hundred of those? That's ridiculous. Well, when, when someone finds one, that's all we're going to need as proof. That's all we're going to need. But no one has seen any super short prints, and there's finally one, so it's only a matter of time. Cutter Crawford. Yeah, I got to. Because it took over 24 hours to find one super short print. And they're just as rare. So, yeah. Tyler Gilbert. We got a gold coming up. Jose Abreu gold. To 50. And then Hans Kroos. Seth Beer. My thing is, <laughs> if that's the case, Rex, and they left them out, they're, some, they're there in the warehouse in a stack. You know what I mean? It's not like a... They're going to be like, where did they go? <laughs> Vladdy, we hit his short print yesterday. On a Franco base. Bullhos. Whoa! And Madrigal. Future Stars autographs. Well, my thing is, Rex, my thing is, Rex, is that I don't believe that all 100 of them, if they only made 100 of them by the odds, are all in Hobby and Jumbo. You know, I would assume just as like the one on one, you know, uh, silver uh, Wander Franco was pulled in a retail box, I'd have to assume that, yeah, there's going to be a lot of them spread out everywhere. But the fact is, though, like, if you're if you're only gonna make a hundred, let's say super short prints, are you really gonna put them all in just hobby and jumbos? No way. You know what I mean? It's gonna have to be across everything because it has to give you the same amount of odds. Like, or not the same amount of odds, but unless it specifically says no super short prints and blasters or fat packs or you know anything like that, then obviously then you can say okay, it's only in hobby or jumbo. But it, I, I there's probably only X amount here in jumbo and hobby. Then the rest are going to be in retails across light, across, you know, whatever they create. What up, Gilo? No. Has it started already, Gilo? Shit. I forgot to tell my brother to send me the link. All right. 
So we got that. And then this box gave me one, two, three, four, five, six. So plus six on autographs so far, guys, in the first four boxes. Plus six on autos. Already seventh round? God damn. I forget it, it is only like 36 minutes, right? About a minute in between each round. Triple G uh, looking too old? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they decide where what goes. I'd assume it has to be totally random, Rex, because there's no way that they know which cases are, which hits are in which cases. I mean, especially on something like this where they make hundreds of thousands of cases of jumbo and hobby and you know all the retail boxes and packs that they make. I mean, I think it's just all at random. Like they just. They produce all the cards at the warehouse, they get them prepped and ready, they make sure that they're all there, I guess, right? Make sure they're all accounted for, and then whoever's in charge of distributing it, I, I think they just randomly put them anywhere. It's like, have at it. <clears throat> yeah, but that's the whole point. Like, either, either, either we think they did that on purpose, so that way you can pop up retail, which everybody's going to think that because they think it's always about money, but... You know, or is it truly just really that random, you know? Like, imagine just, just like last week or two, I don't know if you've seen, but somebody finally pulled the one-on-one Justin Herbert of uh, Prism Black. Like, after all these years, you know, they someone finally pulled it, and it was just like, you know, some cards are just really hard to pull, and some cards you just, they get so lucky, you just pull them so easily. If retail gives you the same amount of chances as a hobby box for a potential short print or or a, you know one on one like that, then it wouldn't shock me that you'll find some crazy stuff in some retail boxes. Uh, yeah, I've seen those repack boxes. I, I I don't see them here a lot, but I remember when I went to uh, Chicago for the National, we went to like some Walgreens or one of those like CVS pharmacy ones in a little suburb of Chicago, and I seen some there. 
You know what I mean? And it's like usually ones where like it's a repack, right? They put one pack of everything or they'll have like a mixture of cards in a box. So like, you know, sometimes 10, 20 bucks. Yeah, John. Which ones? Are, which ones are on there, John? If you don't mind sharing, I haven't checked eBay in the last like four hours. You see four wanders now, but see wanders wanders the wanders the super short print. I think the one that people want to know is if the extended ones have popped out. But I'm happy that the short prints are starting to pop up. You know, because that's one thing. And then now it's just more like the extended. All right, guys, here we go. Next four. So we're plus six on autographs, guys. Let's see how many more autographs we hit or don't hit. If there's missing autographs in these next four boxes, then it makes perfect sense. <laughs>
We got Zach Thompson. And Jackson Reitz. The first auto. Jansen John. I haven't seen that though, Travis. That's what we're trying to figure out. We, I noticed the short, super sharp ones starting to surface. So they are out there, and you know, obviously they're just super rare, but we haven't seen an extended yet. So I think that's the one thing that people are kind of debating. They, they want to know if that's there. But I think once we see one, then it's going to kind of close that whole conspiracy that you know, talk that it's not in the hobby or jumbo. John Paisley, Kansas City, to 199. Man, whoever pulls like the first Julio and puts it up on eBay for the first, man, it's gonna hit. That's gonna be some crazy hits. Colton Walker, it's gonna go for some dumb money. Um, what are you talking about? Yeah, I think that's what people are trying to say. Oh, you're trying to say like they put them in retail too? <laughs> I just I just find it hard to believe that they put them all in retail. I think they're going to be scattered. But, I mean, if they only made potentially 100 copies, they can't all just be in Hobby or Jumbo, you know? They're going to be scattered. So maybe there's only, you know, 25 of them in the Hobby cases and 25 in Jumbo and then the rest are in retail or throughout light boxes and you know blasters or whatever that they make of, of it you know Zach plus Zach number to 150 Tristan McKenzie. Then we have a Max Kepler. So, so far in this break, one, two, three, four, five, six autographs already in this one. So we're plus seven on autographs now. <laughs> Next box. Juan Yepes, St. Louis, Javi Baez, 
Rizzo. Oliver Ortega. Connor Wong. Francisco Perez. And we got Keston area. Not numbered for Milwaukee. Dolores Garcia. Miguel Sanchez from Milwaukee and then Trey Turner. Brian Anderson. All right, this next box had one, two, three, four, five, actually, with the relic. So that's a normal box there. I think we're still plus seven. Kevin Smith. Manny Machado. Hands cross. We got Shas McCormick. Chris Sale. And to 99, Ozzy Albies. To 99. And our first Wander Franco, Chrome. Chrome rookie right there. That's very nice right there. That's for the Rays and Jeff. Gavin Sheets. 
a judge refractor. It's not the sharp reverse, it's just the base, but still judge. Under Franco, John Easley. And Emmanuel Rivera. That's for Kansas City. Casey's Matthew, the 250. Chris Bryant for the Giants. Joey Gallo. Yeah, uh, Casey has actually had a lot of hits, right? Another repeat of John. All right, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven autographs. So we're plus, uh, what is it, nine now? Plus nine autographs. We've almost created two extra boxes worth of hits. All right, last box. Kevin Smith. Judge, that's a nice color right there. Number to 199. Yeah, that has to be right. <laughs> I feel bad. But, oh well. Fidel, Seth Beer. <clears throat> Negative. Trevor Larnage, Willie Castro, Verdugo, Showtime, Riley Adams. Elliot Ramos to one fifty. Michael Brantley. Nice Aaron Judge. That's another nice color there. To 150.
Zach Lothar. All right, so I think that's already been five autos. One, two, three, four, five. So if there's an extra auto here, then we would have been plus, what, ten? An extra two boxes, if not, at least plus nine. So we didn't get any of the craziest autos, but, I mean, at least everybody's walking away with extra autos, though. Almost everybody, I should say. An extra two boxes worth. Wander Franco. All right, well, plus nine in autos, though. So that was Jumbo number three, guys. I'll do a quick little recap. I got to top load all those autos, too, but I'll do that right now after I'm off, air, uh, off of uh, this video. Hey, here we go, guys. Quick little recap. Wells, Detmers, Strider, Lowe, Kroos, Lodolo, Mancini, Kepler, Gilbert, Strider again, Melendez, Pop, Pozo, Wisdom, Otto, Ortega, De La Cruz, Frias, De La Cruz Refractor, Kroos, Gilbert, Crawford, Musgrove, Adams. We got a Nick Madrigal and then a Gavin Sheets to 25. We got Kepler again there, Plasak, Welker, Hasey, Junk, Reitz, Lothar, Brantley, Ramos, Friedel, Smith, Hasey again, Rivera, another Hasey, uh, Sheets, McCormick, Kroos, Smith, Sanchez, Perez, Wong, Ortega, Yubez, Kistan Uria. We got a relic there uh, of Ozzy Albies, and then we got a little refractor, Wander Franco. So appreciate it, guys. That was number three. Number four in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com.